of these stranger groups of Marvel Comics, the Exiles have a lot of potential, especially when we know just how many interesting individuals are there in the team, as well as all the things the group could bring to the table. Now that the multiverse of the MCU is wide open, something the team's dimension hoppy nature would easily like, which then made me wonder who, what, where, and when the Exiles could become part of the MCU, which is why I will be taking a first look into things and tell you all about it. Enjoy! From what we can all see right now, Marvel's direction as to where their next endeavors will be surely hints towards outer space, mostly, but more importantly, a widening of the specter and all the different characters that they have yet to make their debut in the MCU and all the events that are about to unfold in the near future. Which brings me to today's topic, the Exiles Project rumors. They have been circling around, but not in huge capacity, which could ultimately mean that they are either false or just one of the earliest signs of us getting a TV show or a movie in a more distant future regarding the Exiles. The recent MCU events hint towards an even deeper exploration of the universe, both on Earth and in outer space something that will likely hype up the upcoming big thing, the Multiverse Saga, which will be the one following the Infinity Saga. And this time around, the mightiest heroes will have to face King the Conqueror, an even stronger and intelligent baddie when compared to the previous one, Thanos, the Bad Titan. This introduction of new territories, characters, and connections between the two also brought me to the Exiles, a group that has quite an origin story that is like nothing that you have ever seen or heard. At a certain point in time, the Time Breakers, a race of insectoid beings, discovered Panopticon, a massive crystalline fortress existing outside of space and time itself, and a place from which alternate realities could be viewed and visited. Sounds familiar? Well, it should be. A place like this already exists in the MCU. Spoiler alert, this seems to be the place where He Who Remains resided in the Loki series and the place from where he ruled the timeline. Now, it may not be the same one as Panopticon, but it is a similar concept, and I think we will learn that there is not only one, but several dimensions like this one, with each universe having one of its own, and a place that will probably be a game changer for our heroes in their fight against Kang. In the next upcoming Avengers movies, Avengers the Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars, back to the Time Breakers. During their travels, they managed to accidentally destabilize the Omniverse, a collection of every single universe, multiverse, megaverse, dimension, and realm. Basically everything, a destabilization that threatened to destroy all existence. Pacifist by nature, the Time Breakers decided to seek out champions to aid them and correct the changes to the various realities. They searched particularly for mutants and those associated with the X-Men, individuals who were highly versatile taking them from different realities and universes. For instance, they pulled Blink from Earth-295, Mimic from Earth-12, Nocturne from Earth-218-2, T-Bird from Earth-1100, Moore from Earth-1081, and Magnus from Earth-27. Keep in mind, these are different realities from the Marvel comics, after which the individuals were approached by the Time Broker a guise of the Time Breakers to appear in a humanoid figure that claimed to be a construct of their collective unconscious and informed them that they had been unhinged from time. The Time Broker further claimed that a hitting of that like button is necessary, something that you should do if you haven't done it already. But in reality, the Time Broker claimed that in order to repair their worlds and everything to go back to normal, after the cataclysmic accident that fell upon all of their worlds, they would have to take the matter in their own hands and correct everything done to their realities and their lives as well. This is the origin story of the Exiles. You can see where the name comes from. Their worlds were destroyed. Only one survived and all of that. Yeah, it is pretty much self-explanatory. After their assembly from the side of the Time Broker, the group went on missions and did all kinds of tasks everything in order to save their realities and the entire existence as a whole. Which brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about, seeing how that there are no concrete details regarding the Exiles and the rumored project of theirs, some of the things that they would bring to the table. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Being one of the otter Marvel comics, the Exiles' main purpose after their team-up is to fix the broken timelines. And as such, plus the MCU multiverse currently wide open, I could see a world where the team could make their debut in the MCU over the course of either Phase 5 or Phase 6. 
before the big showdown between the heroes and King the Conqueror himself. First things first, I mean, who would not want to see Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans in a slightly altered role? Hence, the project could bring a lot of actors back to the MCU, which would ultimately bring in ratings. And given the Exiles' premise is dimensional travel, the only limit would be the writer's imagination. The arrival of the Exiles could also spark the rumors of the debut of Captain Britain and the Captain Britain's Corp, who could cameo in the Exiles and then receive their own show if they prove popular enough, of course. Then there is the character drama, a group of characters that could work in a similar faction to the light ragtag brand of the misfits we already know in the MCU, the Guardians of the Galaxy, or the Exiles, showing characters who have lost everything. And the only connection they have is that they're teammates. The frequent roster changes in the Marvel comics are also the thing that makes this group an interesting bunch, as there are so many characters that become part of the group each of them with their own set of skills, as well as characteristics that would blow your mind. All in all, I am trying to say is the differences and similarities that the Exiles project could bring is immense, with each of the characters having their own mindset, one who wants to finally end the search for their redemption, while someone else is having the chance to prove themselves within the team. The Exiles have a massive potential when it comes to the MCU connections. For instance, maybe instead of a time broker, Doctor Strange could be the one to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, Doctor Strange could be the one to recruit them, which could feed into both the Doctor Strange movies as well as the Spider-Man ones, with Doctor Strange assigning the task of the group as he pleases, both for his own needs as well as others. Their nature of hoppy timelines could also come into play, a way of introduction to the team in one of the upcoming movies or TV shows with the Exiles suddenly popping out of a portal and into a critical scene. Perhaps there is also a chance that they would bargain with Loki in the second season of his show, seeing how he already changed at least one timeline so far, and for him to find them in another. When everything is said and done, we can all see that because of the setting of the Exiles and them being part of many dimensions, the storytelling of the bunch would be limitless. And even if an Exile show diverges from the comics, there is unlimited potential for as many universes and characters as they want. And I am going to go the distance and say that if done properly, planned the right way, the impact the team would bring to the table would be something along the likes of what Avengers Endgame managed to do back in the day. A very well executed storyline that would span across multiple realities with the viewers having the experience of a lifetime to enjoy and to take in all the exciting things that the MCU can offer, along with the same details being used in the future for a different project or two. Who knows, maybe the XLs are already part of the MCU, we just haven't met them yet. See you in the next video.